We look at football this hour. We're currently in the transfer window, and at the heart of these transfers are football agents negotiating contracts and representing the interests of players and clubs. Now, football agents represent players and handle all the elements of their careers. And this evening, we have the pleasure of talking to former Kaiser Chiefs and Super Sport United defender Defo Mashamaite about his inspiring journey from being a player to becoming an agent. He joins me now to talk more about this. Defo, thank you so much for your time and uh, welcome to the show. I think we haven't seen you a while on our TV screen, so I want to start by finding out how have you been keeping up? Uh, good evening, Julie. Thanks for the welcome. Well, I've, I've been good. Um, living in interesting times, pande pandemics and all of that, but like, I've just been doing well, um, just doing some shadow works, uh, focusing on life after a career of football. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking about life after a career of football, usually um, we get to see former players abroad becoming um, agents, whether it's an athlete agent or football agent. And here in South mm -hmm. Africa, it's not that often that we get to see former players becoming agents. Let me start off by asking you, are you an active football player or have you hung up your boots? Well, just to um, make it clear, I've hung up my boots. Uh, since 2019, uh, but like I was just not clear about it. Um, it's just like looking at the situation, trying to deal with whatever is it that like I wanted to do, but like now I can like just say that like I'm officially retired, and that's why um, I've moved on to this new journey, this new venture. What led to that decision? <clears throat> well, I mean, like naturally, like after football, like you look at your life and say, what is it that like I've experienced for the past 15 years, which is like I've invested so much um, experience, knowledge and everything into football. So it would be only natural that like I channel my energy towards um, contributing back and like just giving back to all the things that I've learned about football in, in those years that I've mentioned. I mean, obviously, right now we're talking about your transition from being a football player to being an um, an agent, and I know that you're going to be, or you are an athlete agent, not specifically looking at football players. But what would you say you realize? You spoke about your experience. Um, I'm sure there are certain gaps that you saw during those 15 years in your career that you felt like perhaps needs to be filled in that you want to jump in as an agent to fill. Yeah, well, it's 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 just uh, those games like you obviously like gonna look at your life from your own standpoint, and I I, I believe that like agents have their own standpoint, uh, whether they play football or not, and athletes as well when they come into the professional setup, you know they like go through certain things that requires like you know your legal help, your mental health space, you know all those things, your financial whatever knowledge, management, everything. And I, I believe that's that's something that like I've learned so much about. Like whether it was negative or positive and like I can just uh, bring in my experience and try to transform uh, football in our country. Is there anything specific that you'd say you bring to the table that has not been there before? Well, not necessarily. I don't want to put myself under pressure. But like I I mean, like, there's a lot of things that, like, you can, like, pick up there to say that was not done for me. Maybe it was 80 percent. Can I just bring in my experience, you know, to try and make it a bit better? I mean, like, it's not like, you know, the current agents or the past agents haven't done anything, mm -hmm. you know, like, worthwhile. So it's just to add on to that because uh, some uh, footballers, they choose to go into coaching, you know. So I decided that, like, Maybe let me just focus on the business of, of football because, like, there's just too many rooms in this, and like, we can just maneuver. Based on our experience, we play football, like, we know what football is all about. Just contribute back, give back, you know. And I mean, in terms of you saying that you want to give back, um, looking at the athletes that you are looking to represent, what kind of athlete are you looking for? What kind of attributes are you looking out for in terms of that athlete that you want to take under your wing? Well, I'm, I'm not just going to be like specific to say I'm looking for 
like at academics or, or whatever, but like at the end of the day, like if we feel like um, you are in line with the values that we are trying to like promote, um, whether you are academic or non-academic, at the end of the day, like education comes in, in different ways. So as long as you are educated and you, you try to be a better person, I think those are the answers that we are going to be targeting. And just looking at football as a whole, yes, you say you hung up your boots back in 2019. How would you say football has um, developed over the years in the country since your playing days? And right now, obviously, it's not as uh, it was when you were playing back then. And obviously, right now, with COVID-19 coming into play, there are certain things that uh, have changed. Now, obviously, like uh, football, like it's a movement. And like um, with movements, there's, there's always like, you know, like evolution and like whether it's in politics, whether it's in like sports, whether it's in arts, like we are living in different times that, than we were like maybe say in the 80s or in the 70s. So it's just that part of evolution and like we always have to find ways to try and adapt and see what is it that like we can get out of you know, that, that, that current phase and, 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 and period. So now, like, football is much quicker, football is more um, digitized, football is, like, uh, football now, like, the, just like the whole of everything, it's, it's, we have to, like, find measures to deal with the COVID, you know, living in, in that period, and it shapes a certain mentality around how we can see football and everything. So that's, that's all I can say, but, like, but, like we, we just have to keep on keeping like trying to improve. Um, I mean, like you look at uh, a situation of, of, of standouts, they, they've been dominating now. She's, you know, obviously bringing Stuart uh, Baxter, you know, like it's, it's just those things. Amazon right now is, is rising. Cape Town City is, is promising as well. So, I mean, like back in the days, it just used to be like, the big three, mm -hmm. but like now you've got like other teams that are trying to like shift things up, and that's that's more interesting. Absolutely interesting, and I mean we've seen. Uh, as you've mentioned, the likes of Sundowns that have also been doing well in Africa and also your former club, Kaiser Chiefs, who are currently playing in the, the CAF Champions League and they're actually playing today. So what are your thoughts with regards to how Kaiser Chiefs have been performing in the CAF Champions League? Well, I mean like to reach... Uh, the semi-final stages of of CAF Champions League is it's just like it's an achievement. But like I, I feel like it would be nice if they go all the way because like I feel like this is uh, just a sleeping giant, you know. Like we are like supposed to be at that point where like we've got like three or four teams from South Africa like dominating uh, in in the CAF, you know. So I, I feel like they they've done well. They they deserve. Uh, deserve a pet on the back, mm -hmm. but like uh, it would be nice if they go all the way, like uh, just represent the whole of South Africa. Because like I, I feel like now we just have to forget about our regional rivalries, mm -hmm. you know, our uh, township rivalries, and just like embrace them. Um, I had the honor of playing in the CAF Confederations Cup representing Supersport, so I know that type of experience, the traveling and. Uh, playing in different like territories, it's 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 just an exciting journey. Um, so it will be nice if they go all the way. Just before I let you go, do you ever find yourself missing, uh, you know, the field, missing the game, playing football? Uh, not at all. Uh, that's why like I'm, I'm into this venture. Uh, by the way, just to introduce uh, the name of uh, our agency is TCSA. Uh, the collective sports agency. So, I mean, like, this is a new journey, uh, challenging. I'm not going to, like, say that, like, it's going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. There are a lot of things that we're going to have to, like, learn. But, like, uh, we have put up uh, a good team, and we believe that, like, whatever challenge that we want to face, um, we can overcome. Well, Defo, thank you very much for your time. Wishing you nothing but the best. Defo Mashamai, the former Kaiser Chiefs and Supersport United defender, just talking about him becoming an agent from being a footballer. With that said,